Venerable Long Po, this time of the year is known as the Buddhist Lent, or Rains Retreat. I would like to know the historical background of this religious event, and the activities of monks during this period. There are numerous historical accounts on how the Buddhist Lent season came to be. In the beginning of the Buddha era, Buddhist Lent season did not exist yet. So during the entire year, whenever a monk felt that it was an opportune time to give a sermon or teach the lay people, he would contemplate where he should go. If he had enough time, then he would go; otherwise, he wouldn't. If he found a place that was peaceful and serene, he would go to that location to practice meditation. In most instances. He had to travel long distances to these faraway places, outside of the city, or into rural areas like the mountains and the desert. Since traveling to these places were necessary, which can occur during the rainy season when rice farmers are working in their paddy fields, monks would easily step on the freshly sowed rice seedlings. These new seedlings may have been recently sprouted, and looked a lot like ordinary grass. Believing it to be only grass, monks would step on these newly sprouted seedlings and cause much grief to the farmers. The farmers, in response, then brought the matter of the destruction of their crop by monks to the attention of Lord Buddha, saying, "Why don't monks rest in one place too?" To address this situation, Lord Buddha created the rule that all monks are to reside in one place during the entire Buddhist Lent season. Or rainy season. This period starts on the first full moon day of the eighth lunar month, until the first full moon day of the eleventh month of the lunar calendar. This was to keep the monks in one place, so that they would not have to go seeking meditation sites or give sermons somewhere else. Whoever wanted to hear a sermon could come listen to these venerable monks at the temple, so there would be no need for monks to travel to go visit these patrons. This rule was created to resolve the chances of having others place blame on his disciples. Therefore, Lord Buddha made it a rule that every monk stay at the temple during the Buddhist Lent season. The newly ordained monks would study Dharma and receive Dharma principles from seasoned monks. The seasoned monks would play the roles of teachers and mentors to these new monks. In addition, seasoned monks would make plans as to where they would travel. To give sermons once the Buddhist Lent ended, they were expected to make adjustments to their sermons and teaching methods that were deemed appropriate. So, the Buddhist Lent season became a beneficial event for the lay people, the newly ordained monks, and the seasoned monks. The things that monks observed during the Buddhist Lent season were similar to any other time of the year. The benefits of not having to leave the temple grounds offered several opportunities. Each individual monk now had the opportunity to meditate, better himself, and broaden his study of the Buddhist scriptures. Presently, these are the activities that our current monks carry out during the Lent season. If we were to visit other temples at this time, we would find that monks may be ordaining temporarily. Or for the entire rainy season. Once the Buddhist Lent season starts, newly ordained monks or seasoned monks must stay together in one place. Seasoned monks have the responsibility of being the teachers to these new monks. They have the duties of educating the new monks on whatever subjects they may be expert in, such as monastic disciplines, Dharma, or the life history of the Buddha. To put it simply, Buddhist Lent season became a period of developing and advancing oneself. If we were to speak in current terms, Buddhist Lent season is like a moral training camp for monks. Other duties, like attending to lay people, were temporarily put on hold. What's left is the duty of researching and learning the Buddhist scriptures. If they were done with researching. Then they could meditate. Meditation is the process of researching oneself from within, the Buddhist scriptures within oneself. 
The external scriptures can be found in the collection of books, and the internal scriptures is found inside us through meditation. Furthermore, when the new monks are residing at the temple, their parents, family, relatives and friends will come together to make merit at the temple. When they come to the temple, they will get to see these new monks who are once a friend, a son or a nephew. Once at the temple, they can meet the teacher or elder monks and listen to sermons since their newly ordained sons and nephews are not yet skilled enough to deliver a sermon. This then makes Lent season a season to study the Dharma, both for monks and the lay people. This is the story behind the tradition of Buddhist Lent season. <laughs> 